When it comes to marketing, there are so many designs out there and I am just left clueless and confused, which is the reason why today we're making this video for you, the six different marketing assets you need to create so then that way you can market for your restaurants efficiently. Make sure you guys keep watching. Hey guys, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. Just give, wanted to give a major shout out to these two individuals for their love and support. Like I always say, this is the environment and the community that I wanna be able to nurture. So if you guys wanna get featured here, make sure you guys go in the comment section below and show some love. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. So before you dive into the six designs asset, where do you even find a designer? And that's the reason why I wanna give you a little tip on that. First off, you can find designers on either Upwork.com or Fiverr.com and hire them on a by project basis. Usually these are much, much more cheaper, but the quality is definitely compromised. On the other hand, you can hire a full-time in-house graphic designer, which you need to pay for their employment insurance, and basically sometimes you just don't have that many projects for them, which is the reason why I personally use Penji. Penji is an unlimited design software that only costs a few hundred bucks a month, and it is a great, great solution for my needs, especially when I'm building a restaurant, don't really need too many design assets, and they're super responsive, quality is amazing. So definitely go check them out in the link below. So now we can cover the six designs assets. The first promotional asset you should create for your restaurant are promotional posters. What are they? They're basically bigger form piece of printout that has only one objective. And that one objective is to sell your customers to take action. What do you mean by that, Wilson? Well, for example, with our ice cream shop, we always create promotional posters whenever we have a new flavor that we're launching. Keep in mind the trick here. The trick here is to actually have only one key theme that you're wanting to promote out there. We don't wanna confuse people by putting in multiple different offers or multiple different products we're selling. No, 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 we don't wanna do that. We wanna focus on that one thing because you only have a millisecond to capture people's attention to read the poster. So that's the reason why you need to be really focused on that one thing and one theme. So for example, for your sake, let's say for example, if you're running a special on your buffet, 1995 promotional buffet discount, and then have a whole big picture of your buffet spread. That would be a good, good way to display your promotional item. And then you can put that poster on your windows, put that poster in bulletin boards, and you can actually repurpose that poster and send it out in an email blast too. If you wanna learn more about email, definitely check out this video that we've created talking about emails. Nonetheless, promotional posters are a very, very key asset for your restaurant marketing campaigns. The second type of restaurant marketing assets that you need to create are social media platform ones. And what I mean by that is different types of platforms have different dimension requirements. So for example, if you see on Instagram, it is a square, same thing with Facebook, whereas on Instagram's story feed, it is a long form platform and long form dimension. So that's the reason why you need to cater your promotional material to these different types of platform and be actually aware of it. Finding a good designer that understands the nuances within these platforms are crucial for you to create the proper types of assets. Now, if you're a little bit more advanced, if you're running ads on Facebook, that requires another dimension and different guidelines altogether, which once again, is a reason why you need to find a good designer to help you with your restaurant marketings. Third type of design asset you need to create are standing banners. What are standing banners? These are the banners that you see that literally just stands by itself and how you're gonna use them are usually at events or if your restaurant is located by highway, you just put it out there up front. that really captures people's attention. And that's the reason why you wanna create these, whether you run it at events or uh, outreach or just simply putting, in, putting it in front of your restaurant to highlight key promotional items or key launches, key flavors or promotions all together. This is a great way to capture your audience's attention, whether it be inside your restaurant or outside your restaurant or off-site. 
And these banners are often, you can actually reuse it, or you can just simply reprint the banners and put it back on the stand and you're good to go. With 720 Suites, we have like five of these different banners for different occasions. So definitely go out there and create your own standing banners. The fourth element to create for your marketing assets are business cards. Yes, they are a little bit dated. No, they're still very, very effective, okay? So that's the reason why I still recommend people to create business cards so then that way you can actually slip them into your delivery orders. I would highly recommend putting in all your social media platform handles on your business cards and on top of that, really highlighting your delivery options and how people can order from your delivery options from your business cards. If you are already working with a third takeout app, then I would highly recommend a link that shows them to order from your online portfolio for 10% pickup or whatever the case may be. Business cards is a very good way to market your restaurant in a different way. So make sure you guys start creating your business cards intentfully. The fifth design assets are loyalty cards. What are loyalty cards? They are basically stamp cards that incentivize your customers to spend more and as a result of that, they would be able to get free items. For example, at a bubble tea shop, oftentimes they have buy seven bubble teas and you'll get the eighth one for free. Starbucks does an amazing job with their loyalty program through their app. However, and running an app and loyalty through an app is often very costly with logistic development and also just being on the app is a lot of money to deal with, which is the reason why I still highly recommend you to create your own loyalty program and print out these loyalty cards. And once again, just like business cards, you can repurpose them and put them in the third party apps that you work with and the orders. But once you put it in there, it really incentivizes your customers to perhaps come in and dine at your restaurant. The sixth item to create for your restaurant marketing are 10 cards. If you haven't seen it, it looks something like this. It is beautiful and it is super effective as well. Oftentimes with 10 cards, we can talk about putting in different reviews, incentivizing your customers to review for you, or if you have a new item that you're launching, you can put that on there as well, feature it as a special, or if you are launching a new product, for example, a merch for your restaurant as well, you can put that on these 10 cards as well. Nonetheless, this acts as a very great marketing tool to just silently sit in front of your customer's table so then that way you can incentivize them. A lot of people that I've been seeing really encourages online ordering through these 10 cards through their own website so then that way they can save 20-30% off their third-party app commissions. Be creative with this. Not everything goes when it comes to creating 10 cards. Just another way to market your own campaigns. One thing to note here is that keep your 10 cards messaging very clear. Do not confuse it by putting in five different promotional items in there because once people are confused, they're not gonna take action. So focus only one takeaway and that's really how you should create a 10 card. So there you guys go, the six different design elements for your restaurant's marketing. In today's world, it is even more important for us to drive more revenue and to keep promoting. I understand that one of the biggest hurdles when finding a designer is if it's someone that is quality, on the top of that, the affordable pricing piece, which is the reason why I find Penji to be a very reliable solution. They've worked with DHL, Calvin Klein, Lyft, these big companies, and on top of that, they're only costing us a fraction of the price when compared to having an in-house designer. Definitely check them out. I even reached out to them to offer you guys 15% off your first month. So definitely check them out. They even have a 15 day money back guarantee. In the link below, check out what they have to offer. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, make sure you guys subscribe along the journey. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.